Hello, my beautiful people. It is Troy, your friendly neighborhood nurse practitioner, back with a health tip for you for this week. Now, it's cold and flu season. A lot of people are getting things like common colds, um, but there's still COVID out there. There's still some flu out there. How do we know the difference between these? Well, sometimes these things, the symptoms can kind of overlap, but there are some differences between these three different um, disease processes that can kind of lead clinicians uh, and hopefully lead you into knowing maybe which one is going on with you. So when we have a common cold, you are going to have things like cough, you're going to have um, sneezing, runny nose, you know, those, those, those types of symptoms. But generally, you won't have things like nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. If you start having that kind of stuff, then we're going to start thinking about some other things. When it comes to COVID, COVID does have some pretty distinct symptoms. You're going to have things like headache, muscle, body ache, cough. You will have a little bit of fever. You might have some nausea. You might have some vomiting. You might have a little bit of diarrhea. But one of the main things, one of the major symptoms of COVID is that pesky loss of taste and smell. You generally won't have that when you have just a common cold. And then there's the flu, that nasty flu we're going around right now. Most symptoms are pretty common when it comes to the flu. You may have some nausea, you might have some diarrhea, but headaches, cough, you might have a fever. Some of those same symptoms that you may see with COVID. However, one symptom that you probably shouldn't see if you have the flu, and it's not impossible, but it's not likely that you will have a loss of taste or smell. That's generally not something that will happen when you have the flu. So, do these three kind of overlap? Yes. Could you have some symptoms that look like one particular thing and it's actually something else? Absolutely. These are just some very basic comparisons between the three disease processes. However, the best thing to do is to see a healthcare provider if you're having any of these symptoms so that we can get you treated. I don't run in there telling them that you need to have take an antibiotic if you don't know if you need an antibiotic. You know, because first of all, none of these are treated with an antibiotic unless they turn into something else. But generally, none of these three are going to be treated with an antibiotic because they are all viruses. This is your health tip for the week. My name is Troy, your friendly neighborhood nurse practitioner. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, you can leave them for me, send me a message. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find somebody who does. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there, and we'll do it again. Bye.